Hey guys, Adam J. Brass here from DSP Doctor, and I'm at Big T Productions in uh, Quincy, Massachusetts. And it's nice and quiet in here, so I figured I'd do a pretty cool uh, demo of this new amazing microphone from Josephson Engineering. This is the Josephson C725, and this is the first tube microphone that Josephson has ever designed. Actually, they took about five years to do it. Um, so we're pretty excited about it here, and I thought uh, it would be cool to just show it off. And you hear, this is the microphone that you hear in my voice. Right now, I've got it in figure eight. Um, I started out that way. It's the first pattern on the mic. But let me give you a little bit of an overview of this mic. And I'll switch through the patterns as well to show you what it sounds like. But this microphone is really cool. It's a tube solid state hybrid microphone. So it's got basically what Josephson's known for, but something new with an EF uh, style tube, EF86, EF806, uh, they're using in this in this mic. So, And it has two modes. It has a sun mode and a moon mode. And that's notated here on the power supply. Right now we're in sun mode, so we're in sun mode figure eight. Why don't we go ahead and take a listen to the other patterns that they have available. So this is figure eight, and we're gonna go into uh, cardioid mode. So it takes a second for the voltages to ramp up and down, so that's how they derive the polar patterns in this mic. It's electronically polarized, so it changes the voltages from the front and the back side of the capsule. So right now I've turned it to cardioid. You can tell it's a little bit more proximity effect uh, in the low mids. Sounds really nice for a vocal. Um, and also, we're in sun mode, so sun mode gives you sort of an average compression to um, the lower spectrum where, you know, a nice softening. But it does also take away some of the harsh peaks that you might get in a recording from, say, a vocalist or a loud instrument with a sharp attack. So that can kind of help you out. But it still retains that nice detail and clarity that Josephson's known for. This is the using the same capsule um, as their 700 series, the CK12 style capsule that David makes uh, himself. And he, he says that it is a lot better. And I believe him. You can hear it. It's a lot better than the old design. Uh, so he improved that design quite a bit for their mics. So it looks like we were in hypercardioid. My, my mistake, we were in uh, hypercardioid. This is cardioid. So as you can tell, it's a little bit more um, focused. In hypercardioid, you get a little more narrow tonality. So I was incorrect about that. We can, uh, you can just forget about that. <laughs> but anyway, I think you get the point. So now I'm in cardioid response, so I'm getting a more chest heavy. I can tell right away in my headphones, I can hear it. Um, sounds a little more uh, resonant in the lower end, which I really like, uh, especially for my vo vocals. Um, if I'm going to go ahead and switch it again, we're going to go into the uh, subcardioid. So here's subcardioid, which is almost omni. Um, as you can tell, it's a little less tough in the low mids, more airy, more room sound maybe, but a little less dense in the low mids, so that could be good on a certain singer. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and check out omni, see how that sounds. All right, well, this is Omni. So now you can tell there's a lot more room sounds getting the whole back of the microphone, the whole room, of, room sound, much less proximity. In fact, there's no proximity effect. You can tell uh, it's actually the real bass response of my voice and what's, being hap what's happening uh, in front of the mic. So Omni is a really great pattern. If you've noticed as I've changed all the patterns, what I noticed is that this microphone, the patterns stay consistent in frequency response pretty good. Um, some microphones tend to get lower output, higher output, whatever, in different patterns, and they become different microphones. But this microphone definitely gives you that same response um, across the spectrum, as far as my ears can tell. In fact, I wouldn't feel like I'm losing anything. Maybe in hypercardioid, um, in, you know, in the tighter pattern, um, you're going to lose the sides of more, obviously, but um, it still retains a fullness to the sound. Uh, my personal favorite is cardioid right now. It's for this voiceover, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put it back in cardioid. Okay, cool. So we're in cardioid mode. So for cardioid mode, excuse me. So uh, this would probably be preferable for a voiceover and for you know a singer uh, where you're getting rid of the room, so you can hear. You can't really hear my room anymore. Um, and I, I should also note that I'm recording this uh, audio file into my Pyramix system at 192 kilohertz, 32 bit with um, this happy, uh, merging happy, and it's got an AD88 card in it. So I'm going right into the mic pre. I think I'm using about 36 dB of gain. So 
about 36 dB of gain for sun mode since it's um, a little more sensitive than moon mode, which you'll find uh, is about 10 dB of a difference in sensitivity, so you may need to adjust your gain. Um, I won't do that here so you can tell exactly what's going on. I'm going to leave it at 36 dB of gain to see just what's happening. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it. So we're in cardioid mode. I'm going to switch it to moon mode and see what happens. Hey, well, wow. So it's basically a whole different microphone. And you're going to want to um, adjust your gain about 10 dB because it's, it's a lower output now. And the compression point of the circuit has went higher. So it's sort of an interesting sound because it, it sort of allows you to get louder and less compressed at the lower levels. Um, which I found kind of interesting and it's sort of hard to explain, but once you explain it and you hear it, you kind of get it. So what I feel like moon mode is doing, it's much more of a creamy, uh, smoothed over sound that isn't as in your face sparkling as the sun mode. Uh, you could think of sun as sort of a sun horizoning over, you know, the, the earth, if you will, it's sort of more, has more mid range and, and fullness in the low end. And, the, the moon mode is more of a um, pushed back sound and it's more spread out. That's just what I've heard in my tests. My hat's off to the Josephson guys on, on this invention. They always tend to do stuff really special, um, but, you know, it is very expensive. So, you know, I, but I would say it's, it's to me, it sounds like two $4,000 mics in one. Uh, so there you go. It's, uh, or maybe more, you know, two $4,400 microphones, if you will. But uh, to get back to the 725, uh, as we're in moon mode, you can see it has a whole different character. The power supply is really overbuilt and they use the highest quality components. So the noise on this mic is not typical tube mic noise. Um, and as well, the, the performance of it, I would say, is, is on par with their other solid state uh, designs, which this mic is. It's just incorporating their new tube circuit um, with a large you know, output transformer. Um, so that, to me, gives it some of the magic that I love in tube gear. And you know, it's purposely designed for vocals where you want some more compression. Uh, or just uh, you want a more natural ear pleasing tonality where you don't want something as linear and as um, straightforward, honest as possible. Even though this mic definitely sounds really honest, you know, I think it can get uh, really characterful if you want to, if you work the sweet spot of it as well. So, so that's it. So that's the Josephson 725. I'm going to throw it back in sun mode. So I hope you have a nice day. Cheers.